Hey guys, Ed from Ed's Model Madness. Gonna do a final video on the 1964 Dodge 330 Superstock Color Me Gone 2 model kit. Quick review on this kit. It's a Lindbergh kit. It's 125th scale Lindbergh. Um, of all of my experience, not a great kit. Um, I had a lot of problems with fitment. Uh, the chassis, the body, uh, things didn't want to line up. I had to use uh, clamps and, I mean, basically force everything together and uh, let the glue dry just to get everything to, to where it looked right. The front tires that came with the kit were way too narrow for the rims that were in the, uh, in the kit. Um, the rims are two halves. You have the outside and the inside. And they just didn't, they didn't fit. So I actually had to take some tires out of uh, a stash that I had and uh, put them on this kit just so that I could put the, the tires on. Several other problems that I had, uh, some of the trim along the outside of the car, um, and it would be chrome trim on, on a real car, but uh, this is a 1964, so yeah, you know, chrome trim was, was the thing back then. But uh, the trim just wasn't molded very well. It, it, doesn't, it does not have a smooth finish to it. I tried to use foil on it, and because it was just so irregular, the foil wouldn't stick. So I just ended up painting it. Uh, like I said, this kit had a lot of issues, but this kit was, um, it belonged to a friend of mine. And this was two years ago at Thanksgiving that we were down uh, having dinner with him and his family. And uh, we got to talking about models. And he mentioned having um, a small stash of kits that he was never going to be able to build because he has some health issues that won't allow. So I told him, pick one and I'll build it for you. Now, like I said, that was two years ago. This is one of his favorite kits. He's a huge Dodge Mopar fan, um, always has been. I know why he, he asked me to build this kit. I really wanted to do a good job on this. So I put time into it and, and like I said, it was frustrating because it's an old kit. Now, I don't know how long it had been sitting. It might have been exposed to heat. Uh, I'm just not sure. It didn't even have instructions with it. I had to go online and find instructions uh, just you know, to identify some of the parts and get them in the right place. All in all, I think it came together really well. Um, I'm happy with the final product. And uh, I, I guess that says a lot because you know I have some pretty high standards just for myself, but because I'm giving this to my friend Bird, um, I really wanted it to look nice. Like I said, the end product I think uh, he's going to be happy with. Let's take a look at the model. Okay, so this is my 1964 Dodge 330 Super Stock Color Me Gone 2. 125th scale Lindbergh kit um, that I built for a friend and it's actually uh, turned out really well uh, all things considered it was a difficult kit to build Like I said, I'm doing this kit for a friend of mine, and uh, I know that he's going to be happy with it. I'm happy that that I finally have it done, and uh, I mean it's only taken me two years. So taking a look at the inside, I'm not sure if you can see that very well in there. I put seat belts uh, for the driver. Uh, of course, this is a, a uh, drive car, so you know. It probably would have maybe a, a four-point harness in there, but uh, I, I didn't have the stuff or I didn't take the time to build a four-point. Actually, I didn't even think about it until just now. But uh, we went ahead, I did ignition wires, I did the fuel lines, um, painted the detail around the, uh, the engine bay, 
try and try and give it a, a, a decent look um, tried to give the front end a, a really realistic uh, look with the headlights As you can tell, it really did turn out pretty decent. So I think that my friend Bird is going to be happy with it when I give it to him. Just show you the undercarriage real quick. And of course, I scuffed the wheels a little bit so they didn't have you know the shine of like brand new tires. But. Sounds like I'm doing a lot of bashing of, uh, of Limburg kits, and uh, I guess maybe you could say that. But uh, in all reality, this is a very old kit. Um, I don't even know if they still sell these, but uh, for as old as it is, and not knowing uh, if it was ever exposed to any heat or anything else, uh, the final product really looks decent. So I'm happy with it, and I really do hope that my friend is happy with it as well. Um, I'm just glad to be done with it, and I'm going to move on to something else that uh, hopefully I'll enjoy a little bit better and won't be as frustrated with as I was with this particular kit. But anyway, so that's the model. That's how it turned out. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the look that I give you. And uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Okay, guys. Appreciate you taking a look. Um, hope you enjoyed what you saw. Like I said, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of perseverance went into this to uh, to get it to the end. But maybe that's what makes a uh, a good kit in the end is you actually have to put a little effort into it. I don't know. But thanks for watching. Um, if you guys like my channel, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, so whenever I do a new video, you'll be notified uh, so you can take a look. Leave me a comment. I, I enjoy the comments that I get, constructive criticism, whatever. But anyway, I, I would love to hear from you guys and, and tell me what you think. Appreciate every one of you, and I hope that you have a really, really great day.